everyone. Today we're going to connect Google Contacts with Google Sheets to make your life easier. Let's get started. Okay, first things first, the best tool I found to do that is called N8N or NoteMation. And if you want to use the affiliate link, it's hardmode.io slash N8N. You find the link in the description, you can put it in the browser as well. And I appreciate if you would use this because then we get a small kickback. So let's take a look there. Here you can start your free trial. It costs 20 euros per month and it doesn't get more expensive than 120 euros per month, which is a lot of workflows. For exactly the same amount, you would pay 450 at Zapier. So yeah, it's way cheaper than Zapier and it can do way more than Zapier, which is great. So in my opinion, that's the best tool you can use. Also, if you want to install it on your own, which you could do, watch this video and install it on your own server if you want. And then it doesn't cost you a dime. It, does, it only costs you the server costs where we recommend Hetzner. So if you want to build your own VPS with NNN, use the Hetzner server. Again, use hartmut.io slash Hetzner, link in the description as well. So from there, you can create your first workflow. So go there, say new, probably if it's your first workflow, you're there anyway in your canvas and you can start building. So give it a name and then we are going to use Google Contacts to consume the Google API. So in order to use the Google API, we need a Google Cloud Platform account. So click here on Select Credentials and click on Create New. And in here, you find a link to the docs, to the documentation. And from there, they say, okay, you need a Google Cloud account. You need a Google Cloud Platform project. So do that first, and then you can request your API token. So let's take a look there. I'll just use this link to go there. So inside my Google Cloud console, I can create new API services and use credentials here. So click on credentials. Uh, it's in German here, but it's going to be fine. You are going to find everything if you follow me here. So here on credentials, on the top, go to create new credentials. And inside here, you choose OAuth client ID. And in here, you say it's a web application. And then you give it a name, tutorial thingy, and the authorized redirect URI is, click on a plus, and the redirect URI is this one. So take this one, copy it, go back, insert and click on create. And then it shows you your client ID and your secret ID. So go ahead and copy that, put the client ID here, secret ID, copy again and put it here. Now you can sign in with Google. So sign in with your account. So you can use my ID and secret if you want, but you most probably can't sign in, hopefully. <laughs> so this is connected now, that's great. So now we can use the Google Cloud API to fetch contacts from Google Contacts. So the resource here is contact, operation is get. I will use one specific contact to show you this tutorial and afterwards we will change this to get all. So make sure to watch the whole video because then you know the process and how to do it. So in here, I will just put in the contact ID, which we are going to use for creating this tutorial. So that's the contact ID and the fields is asterisk because this fetches all the fields which are available. So execute this node and this takes a few seconds and fetches the contact. So now I have all the contact data and with this data, I can build my workflow. So let's build the workflow. So first of all, we're going to have more than one item. So that's the reason why we're going to split this in batches. In this case, click here on plus and split in batches. Why do we need to split this? Because actually we wouldn't need to split this, but it's okay to split this. And it's necessary because we need to bring down the speed 
which init and is operating because it's so fast you will run out of api calls in the regular tier on google cloud platform so put the batch size to 10 or leave it at 10 it's a 10 anyways and work from there so execute node and this makes sure that only 10 pieces of data are going to be sent to google sheets at once otherwise it would be too much so okay we have this and then we build our own set of data which we're going to um, synchronize with google sheets so keep only set and now we add a value we add strings and let's call this contact id you can call it whatever you want and the value is an expression and inside the nodes we find the value we want to put in so go here split the batches output data json and in here we have the contact id so this is the contact id which gets written to google sheets now let's add another value it will be first name so let's find the first name add expression nodes split in batches output data json names and in here we have the given name because this is the first name it's great add another value string now we call it last name value add expression nodes split the batches output data json names and here we have the family name that's the family name which is great let's add another string phone and the value is again add expression nodes split matches output data json phone numbers and phone that's great let's add another value string email let's find the email address and expression no split the matches out the data json email addresses and email so great these are the things we are going to create here so let's execute that and then it creates this one set of data which is going to be sent to google sheets so now we have this and now we need to create a google sheet of course with these names as keys so let's do that first and then let's connect it directly to google sheets so create a new tab and type sheets.new this creates a new google sheet for you give it a name funny name and let's put in the keys contact id then we have first name then we have last name phone and email that's great and what i do is i delete all the lines here you sometimes some weird things are going on so it starts writing at line 1000 or something so okay from here we need to add google sheets so find sheets google sheets and let's create another pair of credentials so let's use no let's use the same credentials as before oauth 2 and create new and also use the same keys as you had before so you don't need to create new keys for that just find them and insert this one the other key is here this one sign in with google now it asks for allowance that's fine and we're connected here no thanks so and the operation here is create or update so we want to create new clients if we don't have them already or we want to update if they are there already so let's put in the spreadsheet id so change to the spreadsheet and copy this part in here between the two slashes copy that and put it in here spreadsheet id and range is from a to e so a is the first one and e is the last row these are my rows here and the data start row is the row number one and the key row is row number zero and the key is not id the key is contact id that's what we're comparing with. So if the contact ID key exists, 
it's going to update. If it's not existing, it's going to create a contact. So that's nice and should be working actually. The only thing is it would stop after one turn. So we need to reconnect and reroute this to split the batches back again. So if we have more than one contact, it comes back here and puts in again. The other thing is to slow it down a little because N8N is going to make these calls incredibly fast. It depends on your server or at N8N Cloud, it's going to be really fast, which is great. So we need to slow it down. So what we do in here is we, we click on this plus in between these two nodes and put in a wait node and say, okay, wait for a certain amount of seconds. And I would just put in three seconds here. That's fine. You can play around with this a little bit. Now it waits three seconds between sending the next batch of data to your Google Sheet. And so you will not run out of API calls, which is very important. Okay, that's great. So we can send the first piece of data there but I can also just change here to get all, return all, and fields is still asterisk. So it's now going to fetch all my contacts from Google Contacts and put it into this Google Sheet. So execute, let's see what happens now. It fetches all the items. These are 300 or 290 or something contacts. It splits them in batches of 10 and then sends them to Google Sheets. So if I take a look here, yes, it starts to put in these batches of um, names and email addresses and phone numbers and so on and so forth. So yeah, this takes a few minutes probably or seconds. And then I have all my contacts inside of Google Sheets, which is great because from there I can do whatever I want and then I can send it back to Google Contacts. But that is the thing for the next video. Take a look at this channel. We have lots of automation videos. So take a look and automate whatever you want to automate. And we see you in the next one.